Macca's Guides. <laughs> hey guys, Mac here, continuing with chapter three, Seahorse Hills. As always, text uh, available in the YouTube description as well as time links. At the very beginning of this little section here, right at the start, just walk to the end of this area. Behind the fountain is where the first classified mission can be found. Uh, further on in Amdora Park, you'll come to this section where you defeat a few enemies and the end of the level is right in front of me marked by the star there. If you look to your right after this mini staircase, you'll see a cog uh, symbol on the wall there. Just follow the outside and you'll find that cog tag. Moving on, Mag Magad Ha Village. I can't pronounce stuff, guys. But moving on up the stairs, you'll find the declassified mission right at the beginning of this section of the level. So. Moving on with the cog tag, you'll progress through a house and defeat a bunch of enemies coming to the street and you'll see the end of the level marked by the star right there. Uh, before finishing though, make sure to run up the street and keep to your left behind this little construction barrier thing here, you'll find a cog tag. Next on Seleno Villa, declassified mission, right at the very beginning of the level to your left hand side. Moving on Seleno Villa, cog tag. Uh, you'll come to this section if you have started the classified mission you are on a time limit so make sure you keep that in mind you'll come to this t intersection here where you'll see four cars piled up next to a gate and you'll see the cog tag in between these two blue cars windward way declassified mission right at the beginning of the mission just follow this little bend in the path and you'll you can't miss this one either as most of them are very in plain sight windward way moving on you'll come to this section where some blood mounts do make their way through a gate and you'll see this freight container to your left with a white cog symbol on it just go through it and at the end of the uh, container is where you'll find a cog tag Rizia estate right at the beginning of the level to your right hand side is where you'll find these this declassified mission moving on you'll be asked to clear a bunch of mortars is just where what, what i'm doing right here after i clear them all out you'll see this big mansion in front of me to the left hand side you go down this ramp into like a garage that's on fire in the left hand side of this garage, garage there is some shelving where you can find one of the cog tags available. Next, the declassified mission for guest bungalows. Right at the beginning you'll be shown this new weapon, the Bushka, and to the left hand side of it is the unmissable declassified mission. Make sure to actually complete the missions as well. Moving on, you'll be attacked by mortars and under the mortar team right there, you'll see an open room. You can choose to kill all the mortar team or just get this right away, but basically under that little balcony area is where you'll find a cog tag. The last part of chapter three, this is during Elliot's mansion, you'll come up the elevator and notice the declassified mission right in front of you. This is not right at the beginning, but it is a little bit in and it's pretty much in the open. This last cog tag is a little hard to like describe, but basically you'll come to this open area of the mansion and you'll see a burning flag in the uh, far ground there. And uh, you just wanna follow around the outside of this top area of the mansion here. You'll come to the flag right here to the left of it on the top floor is where you can find a last cog tag. Thanks for watching guys as always. I'll hopefully see you in the next chapter and comment, like, subscribe, peace.